subscribe the channel for tech related updates and press the bell icon for instant notifications hi in today's video we're going to do an unboxing and have an overview of one of the finest lenses available for sony's crop sensor cameras my name is rakesh and you're watching tech today So as I said, in today's video, we are unboxing one of the finest lenses available for Sony E-mount system for crop sensor cameras. So here I am talking about this Sigma's 16mm f1.4 aperture size lens. So without wasting any time, let's unbox this lens and see what all we have got inside this box. And at the end of the video, we'll also have some sample pictures taken by this lens. So this is the box of Sigma's 60mm f1.4 DCDN ultra wide lens for Sony's crop sensor cameras with E-mount system. Here on the box we can see that Sigma is giving 2 years of warranty in India on this lens. This lens is from Sigma's contemporary range. The filter size on this lens is 67mm. On the right side of this box also we have got the same details. And even at the back side, exactly same details are mentioned. This is typical Sigma's style. On this side, we have got few barcodes and mount type of this lens is mentioned over here, which is Sony E-mount. On the top, we have got only Sigma branding. Here on the bottom side, we have got MRP and some import details of this lens. MRP mentioned here is 36,500. If you are interested in buying this lens or you want to know more about this lens, the link is given below in the description box. You can use that link to buy this lens. Alright, let's cut open the seal and see what all we have got inside this box. So starting with warranty card. Let's keep it aside and see what else we have got inside this box. Some more paperwork. On this we have got details about this lens. If you are buying this lens, I would suggest go through this document in detail so that you know your lens better. More paperwork. Let's keep everything aside. Alright, let's take out this lens now. This comes in eggshell type of packing. This is also typical Sigma style of packing. So this lens comes with a lens hood. Let me keep it aside for a while. So here is our lens. Let's take out this lens from this packet. So finally, this is the lens in my hands. And quality wise, at very first look, anybody can say that this lens's build quality is very premium and very solid. This white dot is the mount indicator here on the lens, minimum and the maximum focusing distance is mentioned and also it is mentioned that it is made in Japan. Here we have got contemporary logo. Here at bottom of this lens, you can see information like the focal length of this lens, aperture size, model number and filter thread size. Here is the Sigma branding. On the lens cap also we have got Sigma branding. Let's remove the lens cap now and see the actual face of this lens. Wow, isn't it such a glass body? Clearly we can see that this lens has multiple coatings to reduce light flares, fringing and many other such things. Here on the front side of this lens also we can see information like focal length, aperture size, filter thread size, model number and the bottom of the face says that it is made in Japan. Here on the back side also we have got Sigma branding and information about the mount system which is Sony E-mount in this case. Let's open this cap. Here are the lens connectors for auto focusing and aperture control. This is the focusing ring in case if you want to use manual focus on this lens. It is quite a smooth ring and has a rubbery grip on that. However, it does not have any hard stop. You will have to judge when your subject is in focus because this ring will continue to rotate infinitely. Alright, let's see the lens hood now. Let me take it out from this packet. Let's put the lens hood on this lens now. 
and see how it looks with the lens hood. The quality of hood also looks to be very premium. So this is how this lens looks like when we put lens hood on this lens. It is a petal shaped lens hood which will prevent light flares on the images. Alright, let's mount this lens on the camera now and see how it would look with the camera. So this is how the Sigma 16mm f1.4 looks on Sony's A6000 camera. It is significantly longer and heavier than the kit lens. After this, I have put a few sample images which I have recently clicked using this lens. These images can give you an idea whether this lens is good for you or not. I have clicked landscapes, tried to click few portraits and also using this lens I have attempted to click one picture of stars. Share your feedback and comments in the comment section about these pictures. So you enjoy these pictures, I'll be back in a while. So that's it for this video. I hope you would have liked this lens and this video too. And if you really did, hit that like button, share with your friends and till now if you have not subscribed to our channel, consider subscribing it. You can also follow me on Instagram. The link is given below in the description box. Thanks for watching Tech Today.